How do educational institutions deliver their promise of preparing the youth to become good citizens and successful professionals? In his book, How University Boards Work, Robert Scott says it depends on how the board and educators align their goals with the true mission of the university. I would say there are two significant, and maybe we call them bold ideas. Uh, one is that uh, universities don't do a good job in composing their boards. I mean, just think about how a corporation would want a board member who understands the, the science or technology, the market, the competitive advantage, um, the competition for the products so that board member could contribute to strategic thinking and planning. I would say the second big or bold idea uh, is a bit controversial because I think that university presidents spend too much time thinking of themselves as chief executive officers instead of chief mission officers or chief education officer. Scott believes board members should be selected based on merit if anything, the board should be oriented to understand the mission of the institution and its core strengths and weaknesses. In Scott's book, he gives guidance on board professional development and how boards should fulfill their duties of care, loyalty, and obedience, information on how best to prepare for board decisions and discussions, and advice on leadership development and succession planning. Well, first of all, it's the responsibility of the individual board to have a, a governance committee or a nominating committee um, uh, to provide adequate and appropriate uh, orientation uh, for new board members. Only 7% of American university and college boards have any education background, any, any background in the business of higher education and most board members are recruited because they can give money, not because they can give ideas and thoughtful planning. Boards are putting more premium on extracurricular activities, such as sports leagues and fundraising for a number of causes, than stirring educators to facilitate learning in and out of classrooms. If you're only thinking about, or you're mostly thinking about, the budgets, fundraising, and labor issues, then you're keeping your eye off the purpose of the institution. Student satisfaction, student success, student retention, and student graduation. Also, universities should change how they incentivize their faculty and motivate them to spend more time helping students learn than aiming for an academic promotion. Faculty are rewarded for their publications, their scholarship, not for their teaching. And so therefore, the rewards of, uh, first of all, appointment or recruitment, promotion, tenure, sabbatical leaves, support for research, often have very little to do with student success. I do believe that every college and college student should have, have the opportunity for the kind of transformative experience of engaging in a discussion of historic and new ideas with a faculty member who is dedicated to teaching and student success. According to Scott, a university's role is threefold. First, it is a creator of new knowledge and understanding. Second, it is a curator of what is known, serving as repository of the past. Third, it is a critic of the status quo. With these in mind, Scott says, university education should be as much about character and citizenship as it is about careers and commerce. Bob Scott's book provides an invaluable resource for all involved university stakeholders who are desirous to improve alignment and educational outcomes. Thank you.